out. That's We're telling right. everyone. Here's a look at the coastline from earlier today. A really mild weekend with some warm conditions, more so today than we saw on Saturday. Along with that, some fantastic sunsets. Make sure to hashtag be on KSBY. Show us what you were seeing out there. Taking a look now at satellite and radar. We're seeing some showers to the south of us and to the north of us. Some of those remnants of nearby hurricane subtropical moisture going to be making an impact on the central coast soon as well. Now taking a look at satellite and radar. We are staying dry right now, but we are seeing some of that cloud coverage moving back into the central coast. Current conditions into the low 60s in most locations with relatively clear skies in those inland spots. We do have a high surf advisory. This will expire by early morning Tuesday. So if you are heading to the beach, be sure to be careful out there. High tides anywhere from five to five and a half feet. We may see rip currents along with that, with a more of an activity increase in particular beaches. And with that comes an increased risk of drowning. So low pressure kind of moving into the central coast now, moving into the early parts of your work, Tuesday into Wednesday. And we will see a cool down and the possibility of showers along with that. Then as we move into the weekend, you see that high pressure building back in. We'll see some warmer conditions on the way for your weekend. But until then, taking a look at microclimate models here into your Sunday, that marine layer making its return, sticking around through the early morning parts of your Monday. That's expected to clear out pretty nicely for partly cloudy skies to clear skies if you're inland locations. By late Monday into very early Tuesday, you can see this band of showers on the way for us. That is expected to hit and stick around through most of the day. So scattered showers light in most areas, but as you see these pockets of yellow and pockets of those, that orange color, you will see some isolated pockets of some heavy downpours. That continues through Wednesday and into Wednesday afternoon as well. As we're pulling from some subtropical moisture, we may see some instability in the area, which means the possibility of thunderstorms. The best chance of that is going to be on Tuesday. So taking a look at the long range by Thursday into Friday, we're expecting that to clear up pretty nicely for a drier weekend ahead, but how much rain will this system bring us? We're expecting to see most of the locations with less than an inch of rain. Goleta with just a trace of rain expected. Cambria expected to see up to an inch and a half of rain. So depending on where you are is how much rain you'll see. North County looking like it's going to see most of that rain. San Luis Obispo with about a half an inch in the next 48 hours or Tuesday through Wednesday rather. 85 degrees in Paso, so a bit of a warm up Sunday into Monday before we actually see that cool down and those rain showers. So 85 in Paso, 74 in San Luis Obispo, with the low 70s for Santa Maria and Santa Barbara as well. 61 overnight on South Coast, and we're seeing those overnight temperatures closer to 50 degrees if you're in San Luis Obispo County. Cuyama at 85, 84 in Solving, 74 in Orchid, and 69 degrees for Vandenberg. The five cities area stretching into the high 60s, 87 degrees in California Valley. If you're in Atascadero, 83 degrees, 87 in San Miguel and the North Coast, stretching into 66 degrees in Cambria. So over the next five days, here's what we're looking at. Partly cloudy skies for Monday, then that chance of thunderstorms in most regions on Tuesday, continuing showers through Wednesday, partly cloudy skies on Thursday, and some more sunshine just in time for the weekend. And as we have that low pressure kind of moving through there, we're expecting to see a big cool down in the temperatures. Paso, you're going to see the biggest difference. We're looking at 85 on Monday. The next day, we're cooling down by more than 10 degrees. Back into the 80s by Thursday into Friday. San Luis Obispo seeing most of the week in the high 60s to low 70s before we hit that weekend on Friday. 76 degrees for a good warm up there. I'll send it back to you guys.